So I finished watching Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol. And if you know anything about Dan Brown, it's uh, kind of... I think you should know about the Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons. I haven't read any of his books, but uh, I've seen those movies and I, I like them. I think they're a great adventure, puzzle uh, solving movies. And they are with Tom Hanks, which is not really my favorite actor. But um, I like those movies. This is uh, Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol. This is uh, not with Tom Hanks, but it's uh, Robert Langdon. He's played by another guy, which I can't remember his name right now. But this is a, a younger version of Robert Langdon. He is not uh, as seasoned as he was in the movies. He uh, still is very bright and clever, and he knows his symbols, for sure. This is um, starts out with a mystery of... Uh, yeah, let's say it starts out with a mystery. Everything about this movie is a mystery. If you unveil one mystery and solve the riddle, you get another riddle. And uh, I don't know how many layers there are to these riddles, but there is a lot of layers. And... Um, one thing leads to another, and uh, they are on the hunt for this this treasure, this uh, Freemason protected treasure, which the Freemasons want to keep a secret, because it's the ancient wisdom or something like that. And uh, on the same time, there is another guy, a villain, that uh, wants to to uh, gather this wisdom to himself. And uh, I can understand that, if uh, the wisdom means that you become God, more or less. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of quite an appealing thought. No, not really. But um, that is the main plot. And uh, I don't know what more to say about it. There are so many riddles and so many puzzles. And uh, I, I, I can honestly say that I did not follow all of these uh, riddles and solutions I just took their word for it many times um, and I think that you should not think about it too much I think there are a behind the scenes movie about this where where everything is explained in more detail I haven't seen that but I think there are I think there are to both Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons as well so I wouldn't be surprised this is uh, ended the series. It was John just one season, which I think is a shame. I would have liked to have seen another season. There was an opening for it in the end. It was also a pretty good ending, I would say. But it was a cliffhanger ending in some way. So it, they could do a sequel to it. But then I guess the, uh, the literary uh, material from Dan Brown does not exist. That's my guess. I don't know how much he has written about this particular case or this lost symbol mumbo-jumbo. No, that's not mumbo-jumbo, but uh, you know what I mean. But there are definitely a possibility to continue this series with these characters, at least. Maybe they need to write original scripts for it, but uh, it's possible to continue with it. And um, I hope they do, because I really enjoy this one. It was gruesome, and it was not silly. It was lots of puzzles, which I really enjoy. And there were secrets, and there were um, clues everywhere in every moment. And there was it was kind of tense and, and also uh, interesting all the way through. It, it kept the audience in, in, um, in a tight grip, really. I would, was really interesting to see this movie. So I would I hope that they continue it, but we will see. But until then you can watch this review here and please like and subscribe to my channel and help me grow and I'll see you next time. Thank you.